All right, here we go. I'm gonna be showing you the two-handed charge paladin. Uh, this is actually my character from season uh, eight, but I don't think I would really change anything build-wise or gear-wise. So here is the setup. Um, let's go over gear first. So it really depends. This is this is physical two-hand charge. So going with the the grandfather, there's definitely some options out there. You do have to stick with swords, uh, but we'll just go over some gear. Uh, G bane with all res, uh, crown of ages. I think I've just got ED jewels in there. <clears throat> High lords. Real proud about that. Slammed that myself. Uh, gores. Raven Frost, Nature's Peace, String of Ears, and Laying of Hands. Basically the same gear I would use on like a Zealer or something. I mean the G-Bane, you know, you could swap that for whatever, but the damage reduction is really huge. Also the critical strike is huge. Uh, definitely an undervalued piece of gear. Like see my critical strike just from this is at 43. And so that plus Deadly Strike. Also, let's go on. You, you definitely want to stack Deadly Strike wherever you can. Uh, so the Death Rune word as a two-handed sword is a good option uh, as you're going, as you're starting out. Let's see. I've got one right here. It's pretty similar um, damage and stuff. I mean, this, this grandfather is obviously better, but, um, you know, it's a lot more expensive than one of these. Um, the... Let's see some other options that you could go with. I mean, the vamp gaze for the helm slot. Let's see. That's pretty much it. Let's go to skills. Again, this is the physical version. There's all different elements you could go with this. Uh, but let's start out with auras. Might is the aura you go with on this mostly because it is a synergy for charge. Uh, and then so we max out all the charge synergies I think I've got a few points in wait uh, this this is actually set up to do both two hands so ignore that uh, max holy sword so max holy sword charge might and vigor those are the key those are the main things I put a few points in holy shield so I could do both two-handed and one hand uh, successfully I just there's extra points you don't really need and so that's what I did uh, I wanted to be able to do ubers and boss farm and stuff like that actually really cool setup because if I'm in a situation where I need to be tankier I just switch over to my Schaefers and headhunters and yeah I'm basically untouchable so that's pretty much the setup. Uh, if you wanted to go like an element, for example, there's different setups you can do. I actually started out as Sanctuary the first time for my aura, and that adds magic, uh, but the setup for that is a little bit different. You still got Might, you still got Holy Sword, and you've also got Blessed Aim as a, as a uh, synergy there for that. So... Pretty cool setup. Uh, just decide whatever element you want to go first. I mean, the gear is obviously a little bit different. Like, say, if you're going to go cold, you're going to want the Holy Freeze uh, aura gear. If you're going to go fire, you know, I think you go with the uh, the f fire sword, the fire aura sword. Well, that's pretty much it, though. Um, oh, one other thing. For Merc, this one's actually kind of an undervalued point. The Merc... I'll have enough go with the res my Merc. The Merc, I use the Deadly Strike Merc. Uh, the attack rating is nice because Might doesn't really give you attack rating, so especially early on, um, you know, not the best for like low level leveling, but you can definitely do it um, later on once you're high enough level to be able to hit. So let's just res my Merc real quick and I'll show you. So, yeah, I've got Pride, G-Bane, Andariels, Laying of Hands, String of Ears, and just some random boots. Yeah, uh, whatever. Gores would be probably better, but it doesn't really matter. Uh, that's pretty much the setup. But the, the Deadly Strike Merc, so I'm at 37 Deadly Strike, but with my Merc... 
Come on, 50, bounce me up to 52. So you get a good boost on your deadly strike from that. But uh, it's a pretty cool setup. The AOE is massive for melee, and it's actually a very fast mapper. So definitely best mapping for melee uh, paladin. But um, yeah, it's a lot of fun too. There are some sort of play style things that you need to know about. You can't just hold down charge in a direction and expect it to work well. Um, you you kind of have to hit things oh make sure you get one point in joust being able to joust in between packs helps you resync your uh, sync because if you charge for too long in one direction without hitting something you desync and that's that's something that you, is sort of a play style thing you have to know about but if you you know, you can either joust or if you charge and actually hit a mob, that also sinks you. So charging, hitting a mob, or jousting between packs will help you stay synced and avoid the issues with charge. But that's pretty much it. That's that's the build, and it's a lot of fun, honestly. And I uh, hope you enjoy it.